السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته دي primary 6 students here we have our lesson in primary 6 for this term representing integers on the number line the question is represent the following set of number on the number line I have here set for me from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on this is called open set open set because it hasn't limit the start from 0 1 2 3 and dots that dots means it will be continue to be 4 5 6 7 8 so on the number line to represent it we have to make number one draw the number line in that form put zero in the middle as much as you can make equidistant from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 2 and this is very easy by your by using your ruler from 0 to 1 this is 1 centimeter and from 1 to 2 this is 1 centimeter from 2 to 3 this is 1 centimeter this is a perfect number line okay 0 in the middle now I need to represent 0 1 2 3 and all the positive numbers so I will start by drawing a circle on 0 like this and one and two and join all of them by a very huge arrow like this refers to what refers to this direction that means your number line will continue to count all the positive number in this form three four and five and six and so on let's see the next example here we have another set negative one zero one two first is it closed set or open set do we have comma dots of course not so this set starts from negative one and ended with two so this is called closed set here to solve it another number line equidistant numbers here we have negative one so make close circle of negative 1 and 0 close circle 1 and 2 you can join all of them by using your ruler okay to be perfect like this that represents the numbers negative 1 0 1 2 on the number line example number 3 I have here one oh, dots comma negative two negative one zero one so this is another kind of the open set but that time that open set open towards the negative numbers again open towards the negative number so I will start from one by making circle at one then zero then negative one the negative 2 and so on that will continue to get negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 and so on so you have to join from here because your set is opened you have to make this arrow refers to what refers to that set is open set okay it's a very easy way here we are going to start a new concept of numbers which is the absolute value of the integers here we have, for example, Mr. Khalid. Mr. Khalid starts at zero. I will ask Mr. Khalid to move towards the positive direction three steps. He is at zero. He will jump from zero to one, and from one to two, and from two to three. How many steps did Khalid take? One, two, three. Count the circles. One, two, three. So he needs to make three steps to reach number three from zero. If he stopped at zero, I need him to make jumps or to reach to number three. He has to make three jumps or three steps to reach number three. Okay. The same Mr. Khalid. I need him to make another four jumps. But these four jumps to reach negative four. I need Mr. Khalid to reach number four. So he will make jumps from 0 to negative 1, from negative 1 to negative 2, from negative 2 to negative 3, from negative 
2 to negative 3, from negative 3 to negative 4. So let us count how many jumps did Khalid make to reach from 0 to negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So to reach from 0 to negative 4, I need only 4 jumps. If a jump could be in negative form, this is jumps. I have to count jumps. One, two, three, four. Can I say I count uh, negative four jumps? What does it mean? To count from zero to negative four, the number of steps you need to reach negative four, this is called the absolute value of the integer. This is a form of the absolute number, absolute. 3, it, it refers to what? It refers to the distance from 0 to reach the number inside here. I need to reach from 0 to 3. How many steps? 3 steps. So, to reach from 0 to negative 2, how many steps? 2 steps. To reach from 0 to negative 4, how many steps? 4 steps. So, the definition of the absolute value of any integer is it, it, the distance between the location of the number, the number that you need, and the, the location of zero. Again, the location, the distance between the location of the number and the location of zero. So, if I need to get, for example, absolute negative 10. So, how many steps I need to get number 10? 10 steps, and so on. Let's study the, the following exercise. Here we have operations on the absolute numbers. Find the result of the following. Letter A. Absolute negative 4 plus absolute negative 5. Before solving anything of this, you have to make the number in the simplest form. Negative 4 in the absolute is 4. And negative 5 in the absolute is 5. Add them now together, the sign here plus, add them now. 4 plus 5 equals what? Equals, of course, it is very easy, 9. What about this? 12 minus absolute of negative 6. I can cancel this now, it is not negative 6, it is 6. 12 minus 6, it is 12 minus 6. 12 minus 6 equals? 6. Absolute negative 7 plus 5. It is not this. It is 7. 7 plus 5 equals what? Of course, equals 12. Here, absolute negative 2 multiplied by 2 in absolute also. This is very easy. This is 2. And this is, of course, 2. It doesn't need any, any change. For 2 times 2 equals 4. Move to the example letter E and letter F. Here I have, if absolute x equals 7, that means here, inside the absolute, a value, its simplest form, 7. Then, this x might be what or what? Absolute x equals 7, that means inside this absolute, I have a number equal 7 outside. And I said before, if the number is negative inside the absolute, it will be positive outside. If it is negative 10, it will be positive 10 out. Negative 5, positive 5 out. This is negative, this is here x. So x here, if it is x is negative 7, the answer will be positive 7. And if it is also positive 7, it will be also 7. So x here, it might be negative 7 or 7 in positive form. It can be negative 7 and positive 7. It can be negative 7 and positive 7. Another one. Absolute x equals 10. So x, this is x. It could be two answers. Negative 10 or 10. If x here is negative 10, the answer 10. If x here is positive 10, the answer 10. So x here is negative 10 and positive 10. It's very easy. Here we have complete. I need to get the numbers negative 5. Give me the number that before and after negative 5 in counting. On the number line here, we have the, num the word before and after. And all of you that know any number before, this is a smaller. And any number is after, this is bigger. Like 2, 3, 4. What is before 3? 
backwards 2 and 2 is smaller than 3. Here I have negative 5 on the number line, on the number line, front of you here. If I have here negative 5, here negative 4, here negative 3, negative 2, negative 1 and 0. Here negative 5, so the next is negative 6. Here the number starting from 0, start counting from 0. All of these numbers before negative 5. So all of this number is bigger than negative 5. So if I put it here, negative 5, and I ask it you to get me, to give me the numbers before and after. So before negative 5 is negative 4. I'm sorry, it's negative 6. And the after of number 4 is negative, uh, number 5, negative 5 is negative 4. Again, negative 5 in the middle. Negative 5 in the middle. The number is after negative 5 is what? Is negative 4. Because it's bigger than negative 5. And the number is before negative 5 is negative 6. Everything in the negative is opposite. Everything in the negative is opposite. Here we have negative 10. Negative 9 is after. Because so this is bigger. Negative 10 here. What is before negative 10, the number before negative 10, hmm, negative 11. So before is smaller. Before here is smaller. I hope you got the lesson and I hope to study your homework well. And your homework page 9 and page 10 in school booklet. Goodbye.